Okay, so I want to try to show some new uh, Papagayo um, capabilities. Dan did a video that showed you how to do it if you have one of those like eight channel faces. I'm going to see if I can just show you how to get started if you want to use a series of photos to do it on a matrix because I don't have one of those eight element type faces. So let me start a new s musical sequence. I'm going to pick Frozen. 50 milliseconds, select my everything track, add the timing track in, and let me, uh, let me go into that timing track and just rename it lyrics. Okay, so one thing you can do is go out to search and find the lyrics and copy them right off the internet. Come in here, right click on that row, say import lyrics, and then paste them. Paste those lyrics right in here, or, or I guess you could type them in if you really wanted. That's, uh, that's one way to do it, and I'll automatically distribute them across the song. So you, now you're going to have to go in and adjust them because they're not going to land right. Um, <coughs> If you watch Dan's video, he showed you the other way you can do it, which is you could come in here and actually create the timing marks exactly where you want the phrase and type the phrase in. So it's just up to you. Um, let me find where these lyrics start. So right around, right around here is where the first phrase starts. So let me get the rest of these out of the way so I can start working on them. Oh, I'm going to have to zoom in. I can't grab the end. Where does it look? I'm not at the end yet. There we go. So the first one's always the hardest, gets over on the edge. Alright, now let me figure out where that ends. Maybe somewhere right around here, and you can fine tune that. Then you could come in and drag this over, find where it starts. I had two phrases here, so I'm already messing up. So somewhere right around here. Something like that. So I'm just going to do the first few. You see how you're going to have to tune those phrases. Um, once you have them all tuned, you could come in here and say break down phrases. That will break down every phrase on this row. I'm just going to do one at a time. So I'll right click and just break down this phrase. The first phrase that you break down, it's going to take somewhere like 15 seconds, depends on how fast your computer is. That's because right now we're loading all the uh, Carnegie Mellon dictionary libraries, and hopefully in the future maybe we can try to spawn a background thread that'll be loading that up while you're doing something else and you won't know it's happening. But for right now it's going to be a little bit slow. So that broke that phrase down into words. So let's try to fine tune those words a little bit.
fan tuning. Alright, so I'm just going to, for now, for the sake of time, just use this one phrase. So you're going to have to do that with every phrase, is break down exactly where those words start and stop, and, or tune where those words start and stop. Then you can, um, you need to get all these selected. The easiest way, I think, is just unselect that so you can drag around them. Now you can right click and say break down. You can break down individual words or break down selected words, just like Dan showed in his video. So now I've got those those broken down. And just to show you how quick it is now, I can say break down phrase. I could break down individual words if I want. Or I can select all of those. And say break down selected words. Now if I went in here and had to make an adjustment, let's say I had to shorten this guy, I can right click on him and say break down that phrase, and you see he'll delete everything underneath him, but he'll leave some stragglers out here that you might have to come over here. Uh, I guess we don't have a right click delete, you have to delete key. So you can come in and, and fix things and make a adjustments like that and then say break down and fix them don't we don't have it where it automatically like updates the words as you move the things above and below it all right so I missed something I must have accidentally deleted these words didn't I oh well we got the phenomes here and that's all we really need just to see to see this work so I'm gonna bring up the models I'm going to go down to this pixel tree hit modify so on your model page there's a new button called faces I'm going to select matrix add and type snowman and then you've got the option to center or scale it. I'm just going to leave it centered. So then you come into each one of these and you define your images for the eyes being open or closed for each of those phenomes. I don't know why it takes a couple double clicks when I go back up to my artwork. So I want the AI. So then just double click to map each one of these. Etc. F. L B P O Rest U and W Q. Alright, now I don't have eyes closed ones for these. So now I've mapped that. So now I should be able to go down and find my pixel tree turn on this tray right now we don't have it where you can get the timing for these to, to show vertically I want to get that working but right now you're stuck with the, the timing from the top row is the one and also if you didn't know you see this little kind of a papagayo symbol to show you that this is now like a papagayo timing track you can double click over here and you lose it Oh, I know what happened. I think it's up, uh, it's up at the top. So I lost it because of the scroll. Let me, uh, while I'm here, let me create another view. So you might want to create yourself some type of view to work with where you can just add in the tracks you want. So I just want that timing track and the pixel tree. That way you can have you can have just the stuff you want to work with. So like I said you can double click and collapse, expand. That was, that's what I was trying to show. Alright, I'm going to drag the faces effect down to here. And if you look at the 
that guy. I'm going to tell it that I want the lyrics timing track to be what what he reacts on. You can have other tracks if you wanted. It's already got the snowman face definition selected. I'm just going to say auto for eyes. And then you can already see it's kind of working over here. So let me pull that down where you can see it. So if I go up here and start this, so we've already got a little bit of talking happening. So you'd have to go through and break down all your words and the phenomes. And I guess I don't know the don't know the uh, proper pronunciation. So I know I'm calling it the wrong thing, but I'm probably not going to be able to break the habit now. I guess you could come in. And if these were not happening exactly when you want, you could come in and tune exactly where these happen, but you're going to be stuck with the 50 millisecond interval. Or actually, it depends on however you set up your sequence. Since I used 50 milliseconds, that's, that's the intervals I get. So with, with that knowledge, you should be able to start breaking down some lyrics and actually making some matrix faces do some singing and then hopefully we can uh, come up with a nice way to export these you could manually right now copy it out of the sequence and share it with someone but we'll probably come up with a little bit nicer way to export these timing tracks so that you can uh, share them so all we need is to get one person to spend the time to break down a song and then everybody could benefit from it. So let me just zoom in so you can see. I could... No, I won't want to break down that because if I break this down again it's going to delete the, f the uh, phenomes. So I'm going to end the video now and hopefully that will give you a kickstart for how to use this new feature as soon as it comes out this weekend. Thanks.